It's party time! to picturesque Piñata Island. In its many gardens, all manner of piñatas live, dance, and dream that one day they will be chosen to entertain at a party as only piñatas can. Well, most piñatas, that is. Oh, fudge! Gardens go. Actually, as gardens go, this one is go. Oh, come on. Just get rid of these weeds, oh. and the flowers will look great. Those were the flowers. <coughs> Franklin, Franklin, no! no. <laughs> it's hopeless. We tried everything to turn this dust bowl into a garden. Watering. And fertilizer. And pruning. And fertilizer. All right already. What? I'm just saying we used a lot of fertilizer. Look, a flutter scotch. Now, would a flutter scotch even bother fluttering around in here if he didn't think this was a great, you know, garden? <coughs> you were saying? Hey! What a dumb. Let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> Now that's a garden. Roses are red, violets are blue. Some poems rhyme, but not this one. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, I gotta write that one down. Sweet. <laughs> Excuse me. I was wondering, uh, how do you... Ah! What the... Hey, I almost had his attention. Trust me, you don't want it. <laughs> but his garden makes this garden look like... Mm. I was just going to ask him how he does it. No, don't ask him anything. He's Chortle's Chippopotamus, the world's best gardener, but worst comedian. Awful jokes. How awful? They're insufferable. They're so awful, yes. they even make us agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be worth it. As I was saying, I think we could all use some horticultural how-tos. And some gardening tips. I'd rather be used for bungee jumping. Bergie, ring the doorbell. Y you know, I, I can't. I, I got a sore finger. Don't worry, man. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I'm begging you, let's run while we can. Hey, guys, are you coming or going? Going. going. Well, you got to be here before you can go. Who are you supposed to be? The water boy? <laughs> water boy! But seriously, it's great having guests. I don't get too many. You don't say. Come in, come in. I got candy, candy. Or cake soda. I got everything inside here. Come on in. And uh, maybe I can dig up something for you guys, too. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Actually, Chortles, we were wondering... Who's my decorator? <laughs> yeah, that too. But first, tell us about your garden. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Which reminds me of a joke. Incoming! What did one garden gnome say to the other garden gnome? Love me? You don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long night. So a man walks into a bar and says, Ouch! <laughs> <sighs> You have never taken a single lesson! Watch out, everybody! I'm a wild and crazy guy! 
<laughs> I don't hire any writers, you know. All this is my own stuff. Charles, Charles, over here. Is there something I can do for you, pal? Yeah, I got one. Oh, yeah? How does Charles the Chippopotamus get his garden to grow? <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> hey, you're too much. Thank you. I like your moxie, kid. You're good with a joke. Tell us about your garden. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really work all that hard in my garden. Huh? It's the crocodile tears that do all the work. Crocodile tears? Really? A couple of tears from a crocodile on those flowers, and <laughs> bam! You got instant eating, baby. Which reminds me, why did the crocodile? Uh, tough crowd. <sighs> all right, everybody. You hear that? We gotta find ourselves a crocodile. <laughs> be Cocodile Central, while every Cocodile and all the Cocodile them will be at the... Uh... uh... Maybe we should have played up the free candy angle more. Hey, look at Chortle's house! So long, Cecil! <laughs> Guys, we have a winner! Cecil, how are you feeling? Wait! <laughs> uh, you were saying? I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem a little... Sad. Glum down in the mouth. <sighs> no, I'm not sad. I'm getting free candy, right? Uh, yes, eventually. But first, why don't you tell us about yourself? But only the really sad stuff. You aren't seeing anything. I can't think of anything. My mom told me to always look on the bright side of life. Is your mother well? Yes. A father? He's okay. Brothers and sisters? Fine. There must be somebody in your family with a, a condition. A really sad condition. My cousin Otto caught a cold. And no, what happened? happened? He got better. Uh, um, can I have my candy now? I feel so sad. I know, Ichabod. You're now sad. that they mention it, I'm sad too. How about you? Yes, yes. How does that make you feel? Bored. Really, really, really sad, bro. Oops. You dropped your anvil. Oh, sorry. I can't believe it. I can't stand it. Twinger snaps. Teddington speaking. Hi, this is Ella Elephanella. I'm calling to tell you. Uh, I forget. What? You say my best friend is leaving town? I did? He's moving to his summer home in Antarctica. He is? Forever. How terrible. Who am I talking to again? Imagine my best friend gone. Really? How sad. Yeah, it makes me want to cry. Poor Teddington. Well, we grew up together. We put each other back together after parties. <laughs> this is the saddest day of my life. <laughs> so what about that candy? 
What I say? Oh, guys! Why won't you put the crocodile down? Let me go! Right after you give us a couple of tears! Cry! 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 Back away from the crocodile! Cry! Cry! Get him! Mommy! Now this garden will never grow. And then we did all those terrible things to Cecil for nothing. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Chortles made the whole thing up. You mean the crocodile tears? Sure. We saw it ourselves. A crocodile does not, will not, cannot cry. Chortles just doesn't want anyone to know the secret to his garden. That cheesy chippo. And he made us listen to all those lousy jokes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> wait, wait. That's nothing. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Why'd the cookie go to the doctor? Because he fell from me. <laughs> Why did the flutterscotch wear a mustache? Why? He was in disguise. <laughs> oh, fudge. Uh, a magician was driving home. <laughs> of orders place with Pinata Central. So we'll be needing a lot of you, and soon we'll be measuring pinatas for their candiosity. Those of you with a high enough candy level will be sent by a cannonata to entertain at a fabulous party. <laughs> Going to a party is an honor and a privilege. Now get out there and candy up! <laughs> Viva Pinata! I wonder where they'll send us this time. Mayhaps we'll be sent to a big society event. Heads of state, movers, shakers. Yawn, you wouldn't know a good party if it kept you up and trashed your lawn. I hope we go to a smoking hoedown. Uh, well, wherever the party is, they'll be excited to see yours truly. And I just had my smile candy-coated, too. Hudson! Warn us before you do that and have fun at the big pinata party without us. As long as I keep my tail off the candiosity meter, there's no way I'll measure up, which is just fine by me. Right, Fergie? You said it, pal. We're nobody's pinata punching bag. Woohoo! I can't wait to go to a party. Come on, let's candy up. Yeah. Franklin, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to go to a party, capiche? I don't understand how you guys can be all gung-ho about getting beaten by a crazed pack of candy-craving baseball bat-wielding savages. No, thank you very much. Uh-oh. Fergie. Hey, Fergie, let's make sure you're at maximum candiosity this time. Hmm? Whoops, that's my cue. <laughs> Now all I gotta do is lay low and not eat. And therefore not fill up with candy. And therefore fail the candiosity test. And therefore not get sent to a party. <laughs> Ooh, berries. Uh, what's the harm in one little blueberry? Ow. damage can a half a dozen apples do? <laughs> and what's 30 or 40 bananas in the great scheme of things anyway? <laughs> well, pop my seams! A beehive! And honey is my favorite non-candy food! It's like see-through hot fudge! Three hours to candiosity metering. 
Oh, no! Three hours? And I'm as big as a house! <laughs> They can and oughting you to a party for sure. Franklin, I don't want to go to any party. I don't like being shot from a cannon and bashed to pieces with a stick. Huh. Well, the candy measurement is in three hours. And if I don't lose all this candiosity by then, I'm doomed. Oh, hey, I know. Why not just ask the wise old Bond Boon to help you? He knows everything. He told me himself. I don't know, guys. That ache gives me a bad feeling. Sounds like the Bon Boon's my last chance. Yeah, tell me about it. What do you expect from a clown like that? Yeah, he does have big shoes. <laughs> Look, Sid, I gotta go. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom, shaka, boom. Oh, boom, great and wise Bon Boon, I am but a humble pilgrim who is... Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me! Ah, visitor. Welcome, lowly seeker of truth. How may I blow your teeny tiny mind? Well, I'm really in a jam, and... To become smaller? You must become larger. Well, that's nice, but I need to... T I can help you, dim one. But you must follow my directions to the very letter. No questions asked. Just like in that movie with the kid who does karate. The name escapes me. But I haven't even told you why I'm here. Ha 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 ha, details. Five is the answer to many questions, is it not? But... The work may seem hard and, well, pointless, but if you follow a disciplined part, you will come to understand. If it'll keep me out of that cannonada, I'll do whatever you say. Good. Step one is to clean my old tennis socks. Say what? Which smell even worse than they sound. They're piled in the corner of the basement near the puddle. The grayish brown puddle, not the blackish green puddle. Oh, and the washing machine is broken. Enjoy. Boom chaka laka laka The Bon Boom says it becomes smaller, you must become larger. And, and even though I don't know what that means, I'm convinced that my only hope of reducing my candiosity in the next ten minutes is to scrub this statue with this toothbrush. Boom chaka laka laka. Boom chaka. <laughs> oh man, I'm hungry! What in the... A secret chamber full of chocolate revealed to me through my hard work. It all makes sense now. To become smaller, you must become larger. I need to become larger. The Bon Boon must want me to eat all this candy. Remember, those of you with a high enough candy level will be sent to a fabulous party. First up... Showtime! <laughs> Woohoo! Got you guys on the flip side! And I outfoxed the candiosity meter once again. It's all in the tail. Holy! Oh, 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 fudge! Fergie? 
Oh, I guess you were right, Polly. The Bond Boom's a fraud. I'm doomed. Doomed. <laughs> Looking good, Fergie. Horty, horty! We couldn't be more proud of you, Ferg. Our little fudge hog is finally becoming a party animal. Good luck. Ah, no! I don't want to be cannonaded! I don't want to be bashed to bits like some kind of... of... piñata! Yeah, this is the end. Goodbye, Polly! Goodbye, Franklin! Goodbye, last piece of the Bond Boots chocolate! Mmm, chocolate. <laughs> belongs to you. Fergie Fudhog! Oh, smart, wise Bon Boon, your advice saved me. You are so huge, so awesome, so angry looking that you're showing me your teeth, your long, white, pointy teeth. Why? You ate all my candy, you miserable Fudhog. Come back here, you little thief. Oh, Don't you look in the book. There's a book here on Pinata Island. Come take a look. Oh, yeah. We're filling up with fun to give your party a swing. Swing, baby. You know the party's our thing. You know I'm dancing. We love Pinata. We dance in the sun. In the sun, baby. You got Pinata. The party's begun. Come on now. Just taste that candy. We're sure you'll agree. Say, Pinata's are the ones for me. <laughs> 